Hi everyone, Brett back, Altitude Scale Models, another sprue review. This one caught my attention because it's actually kind of got diorama possibilities. This is Charlestown Navy Yard Dry Dock Number 1 in the USS DD-742 Frank Knox 1944, 1-700 scale. Again, like the other ship I reviewed, the, which one was that? The Durflinger? Snowman models. Jason did the artwork. Kit number SB7058. Picture of the ship on the side. Picture of the dry dock. Some QR codes to scan. I have not looked at this before, so let's crack her open and see what we think. For all you Navy builders out there. It look like it's going to take up a lot of space like the other ship did. Right, we got one, two, three, four. Wow, this ship is smaller than that other one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine screws, some PE, some decals, some instructions. Box out of the way. Let's start with. I thought it was bigger. I thought you'd be bigger. This is the hull. This is the little guy. Right there. You got your hull. And this looks like your waterline hull. In case you don't want to use the full hull. <clears throat> so, there's a tiny little seam line right there. Mold line. And a little one right there, easily enough removed. This, remember the last 700 kit I reviewed was just over 12 inches long. This one is just under 7 inches. So, it's not going to take up near the space I thought it might. So, get your full hull, get your waterline hull, maybe. Let's see. So I'm sitting here. Yeah, I don't think that's what it is. But we'll find out when we get to the directions. Next, we get your deck, your props. So. Got your first level of your deck. There's no, I don't know if it was wood or not, but there's no wood grain. There's your props, your rudders, uh, your prop shafts. There you go. You're going to build up on that. You can see it's nicely detailed, good plastic. Bent a little bit. So your props going to take a little bit to cut out. Careful cutting, because they're very small. Then your rudders and your prop shafts. Let me see. Let's go cooperatively. Yes. And let's move on. We don't want to do the yard yet. Let's move on to. Some superstructure. This matching sprue, sprue B, twice. So this looks like what you're going to be building up on the ship and across the ship. Various parts, pieces, bits, bobs. Two of these sprues. Okay. And next, we've got some more very small, small parts. These are all connected on one screw, and there's a loose thing in there, so make sure it stays in the bag. You can see it, but it's right there. Again, very small parts. Going to require some patience. There's your gun barrels. 
There's your gun towers, your gun placements. Those actually look really nicely detailed. Very nice. Seven hundred scale. There's three of those. They've got all these small little parts, guns, other parts to the hull, the tower, sides to the tower. Be very careful taking these off the sprue. As you can see, your maybe your guns can be directional because there's the the guns will come out. So. Very careful removing parts from screws. Have your best sprue nippers available. Don't use the cheap ones for this. Maybe, like I've seen other modelers do, I've never done it, but tape down, tape side up, stick the sprue to that, and cut it off so they stick to the tape. If that works. Here in a Ziploc bag is another section of the main structure. So, a little bent, nothing that a little good cement won't take care of. So again, you're building up on this, and this part obviously goes on here somewhere, like maybe right there. So these two are in a Ziploc bag. <clears throat> Then, this one has some more parts to build up. So again, parts for building up in very small parts. Ship models are some of the most patient modelers there are because they've got such tiny details. You know, we build in 48th scale for aircraft, they're building in 350th scale for a ship. So imagine the size of that aircraft in 350th scale. Last, it looks like, of the parts is the dry dock. Bag. So, you can see all the brickwork in there, or cement blocks, or whatever it takes to build a dry dock. And again, this is less than a foot, so it's a nice display size. I've been doing you know, unusual things like this. They got the Zeppelins out there. They've got lots of stuff like it. So, here we have instructions, decals, and photo etch, and actually it looks like a mask set. So let's find out. bend these, so I'm going to take them out there wrapped on both sides in plastic. As you can see, some bracing and stuff for the structure. Very small, going to require some very good. I found, because I made a Tacom, no, it was my Great Wall F-15. They did the same thing. They put plastic on both sides. I peeled one side off, cut it, and it stuck to the plastic on the other side and didn't bend. And here, it looks like the crane for the ship you're going to have to fold up multiple sections and put together. You're going to need some patience and some good PE tools and a sharp knife for that. And this bag right here has decals. And like I said, this looks like a mask set. With parts missing. And it is a mask set. It's a tiny little pre-die cut mask set. So now those who you like to give Tammy a grief for not cutting their mask set, you can point this out. And then this looks like it goes on the decking for a detail that I said wasn't there. Huh, it's cool that little tiny mask set. 
put this back over that. And our little bitty instructions. That's a beautiful picture too. So it's on like that, but you're gonna go like this, and you're gonna have sprue map. And like the last ship I did that from Tacom had no color callouts. You're putting your guns together, you're putting things onto the hull. And you're putting the superstructure together and more things. And then you're putting all that onto the main hull. Then you're turning it over and putting the props on. I probably do that first before I put everything on it. It also doesn't have a rigging guide I noticed on the last one. There's how to build that crane. Hmm. Now that is for the dockyard, not for the ship. Because here's how you build the dock. So I guess this was the finishing touches for the ship. Except no rigging on it. And then so what you're masking is the windows and such. Or around the windows. Okay. More PE for the crane. And then you're gluing all the sections together of the dry dock. Not with the crane yet. Lastly, you're adding the crane. And then you'll shit, sit the ship in there. There's the markings for the Frank Knox. This one does have a color call out. So, Mr. Abby, Tamiya, Vallejo, and something called Vic. Hmm. I gotta go back and check the other one. So, here's where you put in your decals. Right there. And then there is what you're painting according to them, the dry dock, how it looks together. I guess you're not really sure you gotta paint it, just how it looks. And then your ship sits neatly inside. Now can you find some 700 scale people? There you have it. Something new and interesting from Tacon. They just keep the interesting stuff coming. So, thanks for watching this brew review of the Charlestown Navy Yard Dry Dog Number 1 with the Frank Knox 1944 and 1700 scale. Take care, sit down, sit at the bench, sit your ass at the bench, build a kit, and have a great day.